Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to the Spoilerverse. Today, we're diving deep into the latest revelations from the 90 Day Fiancé. Happily Ever After. Season 8, Tell All which has brought Angela Deem's toxic behavior back into the spotlight. The show has taken a fresh approach this season by inviting couples to a stunning mansion, giving us a unique chance to witness their dynamics away from the typical interview-style format. While this new setup provided a refreshing backdrop to explore the relationships at play, it also cast an uncomfortable light on the ongoing issues that arise with Angela in the mix. With her husband Michael now in the U.S., Fans hope to see a different side of their long-troubled marriage. But instead, Angela's notorious screaming matches and accusations overshadowed the opportunity for deeper understanding as she aggressively controlled the narrative and dismissed any attempts from others to engage with Michael. It was unsettling to watch Angela gaslight Michael in front of their co-stars, clearly attempting to manipulate perceptions of him to maintain her long-held control. Unfortunately, we've seen this pattern before, not just with Michael but also with other cast members. Each public outburst seems to get worse, and it raises serious questions about the role producers play in allowing her behavior to continue unchecked. Her relentless need for dominance not only poisons their relationship, but also diminishes the overall integrity of the franchise. As she weaponizes false narratives to justify her actions, one can't help but wonder when enough will be enough. With rumors of a private investigator's involvement revealing nothing scandalous about Michael, Angela's reaction to the findings only highlighted her desperation to keep her narrative intact. It's alarming to see how this toxic energy has been not only tolerated but seemingly enabled by sharp entertainment. Their failure to intervene when Angela confronted Michael at the mansion further exemplifies the problem. This isn't just about Angela being controversial. It's about the broader implications of allowing such behavior to be normalized in reality TV. There's an urgent need for a reevaluation of Angela's role in the series. If the franchise continues to bring her back, it risks tarnishing the legacy of what 90 Day Fiancé once represented, a journey of love, struggle, and the complexities of international relationships. As we look ahead, it might be more beneficial for Michael to pursue his own path, possibly even in 90 Day, the single life, as he escapes Angela's grip. However, there's a looming concern that he may shy away from participating further with producers, given their missed opportunities to advocate for him. For now, 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, is on a break, but you can catch all the past seasons on Discovery and Max. What do you think? Should Angela face a complete ban from the franchise? Let's discuss in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights from the Spoilerverse.